It's day 21 of 30 days of sketches. We're on the home stretch now. Today's sketch is by Deborah. I'll post it here. I have some photos taken at Mammoth Cave National Park and one postcard. Sometimes postcards provide images that are way better than anything that we could ever take on our cameras. And this is an example of that. There was no way to really get a good picture of the stairs we went up towards the end of the tour we took because it was dark and they had spotlights, but this photo was taken with all the lights on and it, it really gives a good view of the amazing experience we had at Mammoth Cave. For the page title, I'm going to use this. It's a photo of a sign I took and I think it just gives good information and sometimes a page title doesn't have to be created. You can just use a postcard or a photo that has a sign in it. So that's what I'll do today. And I think because I don't want to really crop these photos, I'm just going to do three vertical photos instead of four the way the sketch calls. That's a nice thing about a sketch. You can just do what works for you and the story you're trying to tell. And in this case, I'm going to modify and just go with three vertical photos rather than four. We'll go ahead and we'll trim this sign up so that, see there's nothing interesting on that, those pieces that I cut up and then it saves room on the layout by doing that. I have my mowed lawn distress oxide. I'm going to go ahead and ink edges just to add a little something extra to the layout. Scrapbook confession of the day. I don't always ink. Lately I've been inking a lot because I feel like it gives an a special touch or a finished kind of look, but I will go for long, long, long periods of time where I do not ink at all, and it doesn't bother me not to ink, but lately I've found that I just can't not ink, so uh, I'm all about just rolling with it and doing what kind of brings me joy at the moment and if I don't feel like inking I won't but if I feel like it it needs it and I really want to then I do it that's the scrapbook confession of the day about inking if you can relate to my scrapbook confessions I you know trying to include them in each video now and I would love it if if it sparks something for you um, please leave a comment I love to share the hobby that way through the comments and make new friends here on YouTube so I picked some very earthy colors to use lots of greens because outside of the cave it, it was a beautiful park area with uh, lots of plant life and timber and then inside the cave obviously it was it was the earth tones let's go ahead and lay things out I know that I want to highlight one of the photos I think it's gonna be this middle photo This will be the page title. I'll put green behind there. And then there's strips. So the strips can go kind of tiered across the page. 
sticking a little closer to the sketch today, I suppose, but since I modified it to go with three photos instead of four, maybe I, maybe I am modifying it quite a bit. I think I need these strips to kind of want them to kind of show on the top and bottom of each photo. So they appear to be longer than they actually are. It's an optical illusion. things together to I'll use the triangle here instead of the square. All right, I think I like this. This is going to work just fine. Okay, let's take the photos off and we will adhere the background papers first. ATG gun adhesive, my favorite all-time adhesive for scrapbooking. I'm an Amazon associate. I'll link to an adhesive runner like this in the description, along with a link to some adhesive refills. It's the most affordable adhesive that I've found. I've been using this for years, and I always like to mention it. That's the biggest question, the most common question I get on my channel and when I'm at crops. What is that you're using? So I like to tell people, and then part of the Amazon affiliate agreement is that you're you clearly state that you receive a commission, which I think is only fair. So I try to mention that quite clearly on my videos. You can see I don't use tons and tons of adhesive most of the time, just top and bottom or a couple spots and that's because I know when I get these in my in my page protectors they will they will be plenty secure and nothing will fall nothing will fall off I have a companion page that I did recently with photos from Mammoth Cave, and this will go in the album close to that. 30 Days of Sketches is hosted by Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. I'll link to her channel down in the description. There's also a playlist of all the other creators that are using these sketches. You can see all the wonderful takes on this sketch. And there's also a Facebook group you can join to post your takes on the sketches. It's a lot of fun. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everyone.